Ladies and gentlemen, let's go Nordic hot tubbing in the Devil's Cauldron. I present to you the Devil's Cauldron here in the high mountains of Utah. <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, is a 12-person fire-powered cauldron-style hot tub hanging from a Sani excavator, and I'm about to get in with a bunch of my best friends. So buckle up, because this, well, this is just stupid. Coming in. Oh. See, the thing about this hot tub is it comes complete with jets and bubblers and a hibachi grill with the built-in chef who should be here any minute. Now that I'm here, I'm just waiting for my friends to arrive. My wife should be here any second as well. So until then, I'm just gonna hang tight. You made it! Oh, my skidoo! Ah. Did you hit one of my tiki torches? You mind if I get in the hot tub? Come on in, the water's fine. I'm exhausted, bro. There's a ladder. <sighs> okay. Listen, we don't really need that ladder where we're going. Did you sign a waiver? Clean sign a waiver. Let me get a, let me get a light swing going on this thing real quick. Set myself up nice. I don't know how much swinging we want to do. Oh, oh my God. Welcome back to Utah. Thanks for having me, Dave. Entrance. Let me show you what's in my pocket. A nice cold Mountain Dew. Hell yeah, bro. If there's not two of those, you're getting your ass right out. There's only one, brother. <laughs> wow, this is really nice. Not bad, right? This is great. Is Roman coming? I heard he is. Wait, is that our guy? I'll just be right here waiting for the high five. <laughs> yeah! Don't worry, I know you can't swim, but it's really shallow. What's up? Gross is 22. It's sitting here right now at 11,000. It's 12,000 pounds usable load. That's crazy. Brother. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Show off. Dude. Hey, Dude, watch me hit. Watch me hit. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Golly. What are you doing? Are you ready? What do you got? A freaking lift kit on this thing, man? This is the mom mobile. Spin them. This is the mom. Spin them one time, dog. Body it's body a four inch. Spin them one time. What up, bro? All right, what's your are you, man? Oh, nice, I gotta yeah, tell you, you, rolling up and seeing that thing is just it's pretty awesome, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. it's Sister like every Sister every little boy's dream.
epic. Awesome. If that's the only thing we do all weekend, it'll be worth it. What do you think, Brittany? Thank you. Thank you. No. Good. Welcome back to the Snowed In series. This is, uh, we've been doing a couple of videos leading up to this, but this is kind of the official start of it. We got Mr. Roman Atwood, the beautiful wife Brittany and their kids in town. Got old Cleeter getting ready to land uh, here in Keaton's helicopter. All right, well, we're waiting for the other helicopters to land. I'm gonna do something very dangerous, and that is show you how to cook a steak. Rinse and pat dry your raw meat. Preheat oven to 400 degrees. Put your skillet in the oven and set a timer for 20 minutes. Season the steak with salt, pepper, and garlic. Coat your steak in olive oil. Pull skillet out of the oven and place the steak in it to sear both sides. Put a cube of butter on top of each steak and put it in the oven. And set timer for eight minutes. The final step, enjoy. Oh, I brought a plate. Said enjoy. This segment was brought to you by ButcherBox. Now I've talked about ButcherBox before and the reason why I continue to talk about it is because it's really great stuff. You see, it's a monthly meat box that you get shipped to your house where you can choose anything from pork, chicken, steak, seafood, all sorts of great options. And what I just ate was grass-fed and grass-finished beef. It was tender and it was delicious. And the price, it's hard to beat. You've got the curated box, which means they're gonna go through and pick the certain cuts of whatever meat you want, or the custom box where you can get in and get really specific about what type of cut, how much, what kind of meat. Guys, the thing about Butcher Box is it saves you a ton of time. You don't have to go to the store. In fact, yesterday I wanted a steak. I had run out of my Butcher Box, so I had to go down to the store. It took me like an hour, hour and a half to get down there and get back and cook my steak. But now I've got my Butcher Box here and you saw how quick and easy that was. Their meat is high quality. They support local farmers. The beef that I just ate, grass fed, grass finished. The pork is raised crate free. The chicken, well, it's free range and organic. And their seafood is wild caught. The reason the meat is so high quality is because Butcher Box takes the time and they thoughtfully source out the meats from all different places that they vet first to make sure it's the highest quality product raised humanely and supporting farmers right here. Another great thing about Butcher Box is the member benefits because once you're a member, well, my friends, the party just keeps on rolling because you get access to all sorts of special deals, add-ons, different things that you wouldn't be able to get normally well, you get it because you're a member. But for me, at the end of the day, the main value comes down to the peace of mind that I have knowing that I'm gonna have meat here for my family when we need it. It's high quality and it's delicious. So guys, all that's left for you to do is click the link in my description below and guess what? I'm hooking you up. New customers, you're getting $45 off your first order of Butcher Box. All you gotta do is use the promo code MEAT45 and boom. You are in. This deal only lasts for 48 hours. But the good news is, you got 48 hours to save yourself 45 bucks on some of the best meat I have ever tasted in my entire life. So click the link in my description below and thank you Butcher Box for the high quality meat and for sponsoring this video. Got just the gang up here. It's gonna be awesome. So we just touched down the Blackhawk. Uh, this is, we're standing on like at least six feet of snow right now, but it's hard packed enough. Beautiful flight, beautiful day, beautiful conditions. Uh, hey, I did the measurements. Yeah. You can get a hot tub back there. A full hot tub, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And that person. would make the ride here just, just a little more just comfortable. chill. I'm trying to think of like the right words to say that there's nothing I can say that really that really shows this thing off. Like right. you have to be in it, you have to experience. Yep. That's it. Because no matter what this camera tries to do, it can't show just how epic this thing is. And how big it is and just how much of a living room it is. Yeah. How fast it is, how powerful it is, and how it's just pure freedom right there. We should do a burnout contest where we pay the winner. With your, with your blades on the snow? <laughs> we burn them out? Here, picture this. We start a YouTube channel. Something real like uh, Redneck, uh, like so Cletus uh, Chicharlin or something. <laughs> Mick. Charlin. Yeah. Shark can. <laughs> Dude, you're done. You're I'm so done. done. <laughs> can you go like in the woods or something? <laughs> Which 
imagine I just have a huge beard. Hey guys, we're out here in the snow. Gosh, I love snow so much and I love mountains. And snow cats in particular. I've been in a snow cat for 40 hours today and I've now decided to uh, put my hot tub out in the meadow. Does that sound like him? All right, perfect. All right guys, here's Cleeter now. Got Dave pulling up, about to hook the hot tub up, take it down into the meadow. I'm operating the snow kitty. This thing's a beast. The piston bully. And uh, we're getting everything dialed in right now. So this, I mean, I can't think of a single thing that could go wrong right now. Ladies and gentlemen, it is hot tub time. We're ready. You know, you got Cleeter over here, the Florida man, who's, uh, he's a warm weather guy. Get in here, big daddy. You know, warm blooded and uh, figured we'd help warm him up a little bit. So we're getting ready to set up the hot tub and uh, this is gonna be a real treat for everybody because we got the chef coming, we're doing the whole thing and uh, that's happening in like a few hours. So we are a little behind schedule on getting it set up. So we got a boogie, get this thing going. Uh, got Cletus jumping into action, Diesel Dave, got the whole gang. Do we want the shot? Oh, there he is, he right, messed up your audio. Well, we're gonna use that sound bite. And uh, now we're gonna see if we can walk the excavator over there and start filling this bad boy with snow and melting it. So we had a lot of work to do in a little amount of time with uh, little daylight. But the weather, everything's money. things get interesting because uh, pretty much all we've driven on so far with the excavator is uh, the groomed trail and the groomed trail gets really nice and hard packed down um, we're gonna go out to the powdery field which I did groom a little bit last night in anticipation for this I groomed it last night in, I groomed it last night in preparation for this I don't like yeah, that that works it just doesn't, it doesn't feel right but yeah I groomed it last night getting ready for this Is uh, we got to fill this thing, right? So the way we're gonna do that is not with water. We didn't bring water, but we got snow. So we are going to use the excavator. Hold on, what is happening? Hey. Yeah. Don't go backwards. My uh, snowmobile is stuck in your tractor hole. <laughs> <laughs> Can you pull that burner out. Uh, excavator's walking pretty decent because we packed this down. So we're gonna pull everything out, fill it with snow. Lift it up, get the burners under it, start cooking. I guess I'm gonna come around to help you. And as soon as I come around, the next thing I see is this giant hole on the two, two large holes. I managed to get over the first one. Yeah. But the second one, the front end just it was it just tanked. actually start up and come out now. There you go. Let's try it.
Where does this go? Hey, Dave! Where does this go? Okay. Well, can we get two to fit in there? Maybe. I think, yeah, we can get two. Of, yeah, we, they two will fit. I don't know why it's at, set up the way he has it. That thing was supposed to actually be rotated. Oh, that makes sense. That thing's rotated too much this way, that's why. Because it was designed to go through one big uh, D-ring rather than two. So it's turned at a 90 degree. That's why it's sort of tweaked on these two. Running to try to find big D rings. I got some. He ran running to find them. He just took off. Like on foot? No, on a machine. Okay, I got some in the back of my truck. Maybe Found the correct D ring. No, I think we're good. Okay, uh, I'm gonna lower that. Let's put the right D rings on. So how we want to do this? Put the orange one on first. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Little, little okay. Medic! Medic! Man down! Man down! I love it. This is right up my alley, man. This has got Ohio written all over it. You know, minus the nice snow and the pretty mountains and the beautiful views. This kind of stuff I'm into. <laughs> ready to start filling the hot tub by melting the snow. Quick question. Do you want to swing her to the side, groom this, put some wood down, then swing her back over? I thought about that. I just don't want it to be a low spot. We're going we're gonna to pick it up and down a couple of times. So let's burn it real quick and see what it does. I think, I think ultimately we're probably going to have to push this down with some dirt. But I want to get the snow melting right away. Oh, I see what you mean. Like create a bait, like just dig it down to the bird, yeah, so dirt. It, the it doesn't sink. Yeah, put them around the Bro, imagine this thing just falls on me right now. Drag that bad boy over here. I mean, like imagine. Giraffes don't walk very well in the snow. I don't know if you guys know that. The regulator's flowing too much gas through it and it was freezing it so we basically you're gonna have to figure out a way to keep those warm if if this doesn't heat up either like, like the bottom's not going it's gonna take it's a hot minute well, it's not gonna a hot so minute gotta, hot minute see what i did there <laughs> gotta put a damper on our time nothing burns better than a hand built wood fire this modern bullshit <laughs> is never gonna cut it out here in the wilderness that's why we do things old school around here Besides the equipment, you know, the helicopters, excavators, and the snow cat. Other than that, <laughs> old Besides school. those things. In fact, the more I think about it, the only thing that needs to stay old school is the fire. <laughs> That's right. Uh, it just doesn't, it just doesn't burn. Did you guys put, whoa, you just took a uh, squirrel's den. Oh, all the seeds. Oh. Look at all the seeds the squirreled in. Ay, 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 Alan. It's like a hidden superpower you didn't know you had. Yeah, well, that's enough for me. Oh! Find <laughs> the uh. Right? So now we're basically taking dead trees and building a massive bonfire under this thing to get it to uh, melt in time. Because otherwise, we're gonna be, uh, gonna be out of luck. Are you doubting? Not at all. 
I can't wait to get in there. The water is boiling in here. Boiling? The water is boiling. That's good. <coughs> oh. <laughs> it's like boiling in the bottom, but the snow on top is like, nah, I'll say snow. Science. I'm gonna catch my breath. I had to hold my breath doing that. Have that water. This is barely even, barely even warm yet. Digital turn. Wizard down. Molly. Hey, I just Saturday night chilling. Dave, soup's on. <laughs> How's it going? You can't breathe. Well, I'm hot and cold. Well, everybody did go up to the cabin to eat food. I'm here by myself. So that kind of sucks. Sparks. How old is Alan? We looked it up. It's fine. Where's the diesel fuel, Dave? All right, a farmer has 26 sheep. One dies. How many are alive? How many are alive? How many are left? 26 sheep. <laughs> we talked about 10 minutes We've ago. We've lost our minds. It's like, what are they saying? I don't even know what he was talking about. Current status is water is probably a cool 55 degrees. We're close. I bet we're probably an hour about out from dipping. Jets. That's 100% pure Utah snow, and we're about to bathe ourselves in it. I love myself a sausage party. Hey, Alan, come on. Let's go. Coming in, just gotta get the boots off. Is it hot in there? Yeah. Right there. Wait, do you think Alan's gonna take his hat off? Way more. Not a chance. He'll lose all his powers. Don't go past the two. Yeah, once every three. Woo! Oh, man. <laughs> Where's the step at? I can hear it freaking. Oh, my. The redneck hot tub is as nice as any hot tub I've ever been in. I don't know how he pulled off a perfect 105 temperature, but it is perfect. Make sure you go up so you can eat and get You gotta go left stick up. You know, this is 
is good because we can be in the hot tub and then afterwards we got soup. Sean! There he is. Uh, I'm gonna light an onion on fire and make a volcano out of it because it just seems Ooh. fitting for <laughs> Hey! You know what, Dave? Huh? You've really outdone yourself. I thought that this would be 110 or 67. How about perfect? Yeah, I don't know what. It's mine. It is. Alone. It's perfect. By the way, this is the most expensive hot tub I've ever been in. So that it, might have some. It does require a $300,000 excavator oh. to work properly. Alan has been. your turn to try. Oh, oh, really? I hear your guy. Get the whip. <laughs> Who's up? Okay. Who's I guess Alan. me. Alan. Look, Keaton's ready. Keaton's ready. Keaton's, Keaton's ready. literally chomping at the bit. He's in warm mode. Oh, my God. That was short. Oh. oh the light, the light, lights were in his eyes. You could have intercepted that. Oh. 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 I got a part of it. Oh. oh. Throw it back Why? on the grill. Why? Oh! That's right after the face. Oh, of course. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Throw it back on the grill. Hey, oh, my yeah. God. You shrimp. Oh, oh really? Hey, can you get some grill? Nice. There you go. Well, my friends, it was a success. A wild success, by the way. It's probably 10 degrees outside right now, and it's snowing. And that hot tub is staying a cool 104, 105, and we can adjust the temperature perfectly with the propane burner. Sean, the chef from Redmond Salt, absolutely killed it. And nobody wants to get out. We thought, oh, maybe we'll get some shots hanging out, you know, for the video. No, we're staying in for the rest of the night. This, my friends, is one of the coolest things I've personally ever done. It's a fun project. It's hanging from an excavator in the middle of the mountains here at 8,000 feet in 10 feet of powder snow. It doesn't get any better. The only thing that could make this better is if my video guys got in. Uh, Eric, huh? Jump into the climb suit. In the climb suit? Yeah. Yeah. People don't know this, but I'm part of toeticklers.com. If I were to go under right now, he's going for it. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where's Garrett's socks? <laughs> wow, that was, that looks suspicious.